you're thinking about planning a, a trip maybe this summer or next to Disneyland, you want to book now, you, good news for you if you're a California resident, which hopefully you all are, uh, you get a break, a discount. The theme park offering cheaper admission, $83 a day for you. You have to buy a three-day pass, though, and it's a one park per day pass. If you want the park hopper, uh, they'll tack on an extra $55. And if you want to stay at a Disneyland Resort Hotel, they'll also cut your break there, too. 25% off certain rooms. You have until September 30th to make those reservations and redeem that offer. But maybe that'll help you save a little bit. We know Disneyland's awfully expensive. It sure is. Yeah. And one day at mm. Disney, traditional yes. Disney, is all I need, and I get my Disney film. You don't want to go to California Adventure? Um, I mean, I'd like to, but I only like a couple of rides over there. Yeah. So for me, I was like, we got to go to the original Disney, the real deal. Yeah. You know, where all the old favorites are. <laughs> Except for, by the way, the Matterhorn is closed. I guess they're redoing oh, okay. it or something. So when you go, that's not going to be open. Everything else was open. It was great. I'd have to get the park hopper because I need to get over to the you new Marvel experience. You need. And that's in California Adventure. You so need that. That's how they get you. I, but the new yes. Star Wars ride is open. And, and I went on that, and that's the real, the, the Disneyland traditional side. Disneyland side, and it was pretty cool. And yeah, I don't even cool. like Star Wars. See? Yeah. I got to get down there. <laughs> All right.